Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking out my video, guys. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all how to get the Lorenzo's Artifact Gun, uh, which is this. <laughs> it says the Artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. Oh, okay, I see. Nice laser rifle you got there. 420 Blaze It Faggot. <laughs> So there you guys have it, a little bit of gameplay of the Lorenzo Artifact. I'll also be showing you where the Zeta Gun is, and also I'm going to be showing you guys alternate endings, how to enter the Insane Asylum, because you have to go through specific quest lines to get inside, and also I'm going to be showing you all how to get an infinity amount of Mysterious Serum. It's part of the alternate endings. It basically gives you immortality. Just kidding. But it does make you harder to kill, gives you plus 5 to strength, and gets rid of a ton of of radiation also i'll be showing you where the charisma bobblehead is as well since we'll be passing it on the way so yeah it's just showing you a bunch of different shit in fallout 4 to hopefully help you out in some kind of way so on that note let's get into this first things first you have to be at least level 10 and cleared out all the enemies near the insane asylum once you have done that you then want to head over to bunker hill and talk to this guy named Edward Deegan. And once you have talked to him, he'll introduce you to Jack Cabot, which is a very important person in this quest line. And you meet Jack Cabot at this pre-war house. It's still in perfect condition. It's kind of crazy. I really don't understand how he kept the house in such perfect condition. I guess because how he is so rich. And also, a little bit of spoilers I'm about to be giving away here. He is really really old and basically how he is old is from that mysterious serum that i was talking about before it gives him immortality and reverses his aging to make him not look as old there's some creepy stuff going on in this mansion not everything is what meets the eye here here's a little bit of the beginning dialogue when you first meet jack cabot is this really the time don't interrupt edward the question is this do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe are you talking about aliens UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Anywho, once you've gotten to know Jack a little bit more, he'll end up sending you off on a whirlwind adventure to the insane asylum. And when you get there, you'll end up talking to this chick, and she'll tell you this and that about how creepy things are around here. And then you'll have to go behind the Parsons Insane Asylum and take out these raiders back here. And one of them is a legendary, so be prepared for that situation. Make sure you get the mysterious serum off this enemy, and once you end up getting it, you're going to be having to go back to Jack Cabot's house. And as soon as you get back in there, Edward Deegan is going to pretty much greet you at the door like hey what's going on there and that's when you have the option to whether or not give up the serum this serum in case you guys are wondering about it is just crazy i mean it's basically an immortality serum and that's why these raiders are trying to breach this insane asylum because down deep in the catacombs of this insane asylum is the mysterious serum creator the only person that can basically create this serum because of his blood so they want it that's why they're flocking around this building like a bunch of llamas next part will immediately take place you'll go up and talk to jack cabot about the whole situation and then you'll be sent off to find his sister on a whirlwind adventure this is a pretty straightforward quest that he's sending you off on um, you can choose the optional route to go to good neighbor and talk to uh, basically a singing hooker and you do have a chance to hook up with her so that's the optional routes if you want a free cutscene of getting some pussy, well then take the optional route and you have a chance to flirt your way into a one night stand. But if you want to skip all that and get this done immediately, just go to Charles View Amphitheater. And once you're there, there's actually several ways to resolve the situation here. You can just go hostile on the cult's leader and kill him and whatnot, you know, and all of his followers. Loot, you know, get their stuff, loot their body and do what you can. And on Brother Thomas's body, you actually find Jack Cabot's sister's key. Uh, so, that's convenient. 
You can also just sneak behind the amphitheater and pick lock the door. You have that option too. Or you can just choose to join the cult. But keep in mind, when you do end up joining this cult, you'll have to actually turn in all your clothes and weapons. So, yeah, you're going to have to join almost butt naked for some reason. Don't trust it. That's all I got to say. Just don't. Anywho, once you get this part done and, you know, rescue Jack Cabot's sister, head back to the house. There you'll have your next step and you'll be going to the insane asylum. This is how you enter the insane asylum, guys. That's how you do it. Just complete those quest lines in that specific order and it'll get you inside. Once inside, this is where actually the Charisma Bobblehead is at. So, yay, Charisma Bobblehead. And also there's a couple of other interesting stuff in here. There's just all kinds of interesting and creepy scenarios inside here. All you gotta do is just keep following Jack and he'll end up leading you straight to the Charisma Bobblehead. It'll actually be on this desk when you find Edward Deegan wounded against the wall. He's pretty much dead, but not dead. He can't move. He, he, he's not going to be able to help us. Anywho, next area is heading toward Jack Cabot's father, where he's actually being held at. I don't know how to explain this place. It's a crazy imprisonment. That's all I got to say. You now have two options when you go down here, though. You can either flip on all four switches around the room and kill Lorenzo for Jack Abbott, of course. Which, in case you guys don't know, Lorenzo is his father. Yes, that's right. Or you can set him free. Each choice is going to have a different reward outcome. Not to mention the morality of the situation you'll have to live with with your companions. In either case, though, don't forget to pick up this Massachusetts Surgical Journal in the room where Lorenzo is being held in. It gives you good things and it's permanent. It's always good to pick up journals because they're permanent. I learned that off the Fallout wiki. Anywho, here's what happens when you just flip all the switches and, well, Lorenzo is no more. You should get a little over 500 bottle caps and you can either play until a week passes in game or sleep at a bed to pass the time. And you also get an update of the quest saying, talk to Jack Cabot about the artifact and this artifact is Lorenzo's artifact he used basically his helmet that he had on his head and put it inside the Zeta gun that I was talking about before it's kind of cool and this gives you the uh, telekinesis power the booster it's just really unique it's not super powerful but it's unique you can have some fun with it on the other hand you can take Lorenzo's reward if you end up you know saving him and killing his whole family that's right, everybody at the Cabot house, besides Edward Deegan, you can persuade him to kind of, you know, agree with you, because, you know, he's always been trusting Jack Cabot, but he's never actually met Lorenzo, so you can get him to take your side on it. And if you end up killing the whole family, you end up getting the mysterious serum formula. You will be able to come back here whenever you want when you don't have it to restock on it, so that's something useful. So yes, you will have an infinity supply from him, which... This basically makes you immortal, and you can also pick up the Zeta gun off Jack Cabot's body. But apparently there is another way to get the Zeta gun, or you can get it twice if you choose to do this scenario. You don't have to necessarily kill Jack Cabot to get it, or steal from him. As you guys can see, all you have to do is just loot the Zeta gun before you go outside to walk and talk with Jack. Everything in the house turns from steal to take. You can then go upstairs and just take the Zeta gun. It doesn't even say it's stealing. You can also scavenge all the useful things in the house. So, yes, <laughs> keep that in mind, everybody. That's something useful. I don't know if this actually works. I haven't tried it out, but something to try out if you do end up going to go do this stuff. I also tried something out where I saved Lorenzo, and then I felt bad for Jack and decided to help him out. And Lorenzo is actually a pretty tough fight. Get away while you can. If, you know, you're not such a high level. Just so make sure you come a little prepared for this fight. I mean, he wasn't super tough for me. Unless, of course, you're cheating on the PC. Well, then, this should be no problem at all. You can just come here, no problem at all. Just take care of it all. Easy. But if you're not cheating, and you're a little bit of a lower level, make sure you come a little prepared. So, there you guys have it, everybody. The secrets of Jack Cabot's house. Or should I say Lorenzo's house? Because it is his. That's what he says, anyways. Oh, well, who cares? Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and this stuff in this video becomes useful to you guys on your journey through Fallout 4. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'm out of here. As always, if you could, please remember to leave a like. It's much appreciated by me. And remember, everybody, to stay safe out there and don't be in the breeze the wrong way. Peace.